ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. Hello, this is James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday morning, the 20th day of August. What's up with Faye? That's the big question. Let's get to some graphics this morning. We'll take a look. These images coming from the SkyCam network early this morning. Of course, in the short term, the weather here is quiet. That's the Alabama River is seen from the SkyCam down in Dallas County in Selma. From Trussville, northeast of Birmingham, we're looking out over Chalkville Mountain Road. And the view from downtown Birmingham, that's the view there from the top of the uh, Daniel Building. Again, this morning, Alabama in between systems. We've got the upper level low to the west over Texas and Fay to the southeast over Florida. And uh, again, uh, we're kind of in a situation where we think any showers today will be pretty widely separated. And the big question is, how will Faye impact Alabama? Well, let's look at the latest QPF graphic. Well, first off, how about over two feet of rain around Jacksonville, Florida? Goodness gracious. Uh, 28.8, that's the bullseye. This is valid through Sunday evening at 7 o'clock. You'd think we better forecast some rain for Jacksonville, huh? In fact, one of our affiliate radio stations is there. We've got one in Brunswick, Georgia as well. And uh, note in Alabama, though, that's suggesting... Uh, rain amounts of over 10 inches for Dothan and nothing, I mean not a drop, for Fort Payne. Uh, it's its a tough forecast. Uh, obviously, Alabama will be greatly impacted by Fay. Uh, how much rain we get, we'll see. We'll just have to wait. And off to the west, we've got rain with that upper level feature. Heavy rain from Houston to Little Rock and St. Louis. That's suggesting 4.2 inches around Houston. And uh, we'll just see. Uh, we'll take a look at Faye this morning. The system is beginning to emerge into the Atlantic. It's near Cape Canaveral. There's a look at the radar. And as expected with that position, the heaviest rain has shifted off into the Atlantic. Uh, the rain has ended really for now over much of South Florida, uh, Miami and places like that. But that rain is wrapping back into uh, Daytona Beach and Jacksonville, well, where it's going to be awfully wet for the next couple of days. The model agreement is actually fairly decent this morning on Fay. Almost all the models push it to, to the northwest up in our general direction. And then once it gets to Alabama, will it recurve, keeping us kind of on the dry side? Will it keep pushing into Mississippi? Uh, well, let's see. Here's a look at the official track from the Hurricane Center. And they've got it near the Mobile Delta. Uh, late Sunday night is a tropical depression. And uh, in that position, that should pump a lot of moisture up into Alabama, and we certainly would think we'll see increasing rain across the state, uh, if not Sunday afternoon, certainly Sunday night. And uh, we'll take a look at the GFS and the European here in just a moment. A uh, quick peek at 94L, and really we've got two areas of convection out there in the Atlantic. Uh, the models on 94L, some bring it north of the island, some now bring it down to the south, a low-latitude system. And again, uh, let's get through Fay, and then we'll deal with that later. And also one quick note, there's the uh, convective outlook for today, and uh, there's a slight risk on the South Atlantic coast due to those spiral bands coming in with Tropical Storm Fay. Now the GFS, this is uh, where we are at uh, 1 o'clock today. This is at 500 millibars, 18,000 feet off the ground or so. And you can see the uh, ridge north of Fay that's got it blocked, and that's going to force it back west down at the surface. Fay is along the South Atlantic coast. Tomorrow, the GFS, like many models, move it westward. And the GFS is kind of on the southern edge of the model blend, uh, taking the thing right down Interstate 4, really from Daytona down to Tampa Bay. Uh, and again, notice Alabama still relatively dry with the upper level feature to the west and Fay to the southeast. Friday, Fay emerges into the northeastern Gulf of Mexico. And again, we stay dry. And we're still going to mention widely scattered showers just in case because we're so close to these things. Now, Saturday, the model deepens Fay in the Gulf, moving it up toward uh, Pensacola and Fort Walton Beach and Destin. And then on Sunday, the model really takes it almost due south of Gulf Shores. And the question, of course, is how much strengthening will occur in that northern Gulf of Mexico? You'd think it wouldn't have a lot of time to get its act together, but by golly, the GFS is slower on this run. Monday, it's still in the Gulf. 
A very slow solution here. It's got it uh, due south of Mobile Bay. And then Tuesday, it pulls northeast up into southeast Alabama around Dothan. And again, note the northern part of the state stays relatively dry. And then Wednesday, the thing moves up toward Asheville, North Carolina. So that's the GFS. Let's take a look at the European. This is Sunday. It's got a formidable tropical system there uh, due south of Gulf Shores. Monday, it moves into southeast Louisiana. And this is definitely a bit of an outlier uh, around New Orleans. Then Tuesday, it's got the thing coming up around Tuscaloosa. And again, that would suggest a big wet down. So as you can see, it's uh, model madness out there, which is what we've seen. And we'll just sit back and wait and watch. It will be a very fascinating storm to watch in coming days. No doubt about that. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.